Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Della, designer and digital marketer with 10 years of experience in teaching skills. In this short video, I want to introduce you to Koi Chatbot. Koi is a multi-purpose chatbot that supports various AI language models. After watching this video, you will have an intelligence, experience, and free assistant with you that can always help you in many tasks and also provide you with lots of ideas and guidance to greatly improve the quality of your work. First, you need to log into the Poi.com website, which will directly take you to the login page. You can easily log in through an email, phone number, Google account, or Apple account. We we'll log in with a Google account. You can enter the main chatbot page, which has various features that I will explain to you one by one. For example, you can search for the chatbot you want here, or select from the various chatbots available below. These are official chatbots. Many people have already created their own chatbots based on one of the main AI languages available here. As you can see here, you can see the different language models of AI available, including GPT-4, GPT-3.5, Google, Lava, and many other AI. Based on each of this, you can create your own chatbot. By clicking on these options, uh, we see the chatbots that others have created. Here we are given the chatbots which create pictures. This chatbot is very interesting. Whenever you request, you type it here and the chatbot delivers a picture of it to you. For example, I request a flying cow. I write it here. As you can see, it delivers a picture of a flying cow to us. You can request other things from it. It is always accurate and correct, but it may have errors. However, if you add more details to your request, it will give you better results. Returning to the main site, I use this chatbot for most tasks. It is a very efficient and useful chatbot based on the chatbot GPT-3 language model. Now we want to use it with this bot. We can give it a lot of things and ask it a lot of questions. We say hello and it asks us what it can do for us. For example, we ask it about the best football player in history.
and the bot lists the best players for us. He listed 10 items for us. Well, he listed 10 of the best players in history for us and explained each one. Maradona, Messi, Ronaldo, Cruyff, De Stefano, Beckenbauer, Ladini, Zidane. In my opinion, number 9 Zidane should be at the top of the list. You see, AI is not that smart. <laughs> We can ask it other questions as well. Any question you want. Of course, sometimes it may not give you the answer you want. You need to change your question to get the answer you want. You can use it to get code for programming. For example, get an idea from it for design or even get music notes from it to make music. Or get help for content production or website. It can help a lot with your businesses, give you a lot of ideas, and if you can combine it with the job you have, you can help a lot with the progress of your work. Now let's see how we can create a personal bot. If we want to create a personal bot, we need to click on Create Bot and enter the bot generation page. First, it asks us to complete the profile because we entered with a Google account. We save the previous information and continue. In short, we can create our own personal bot. Let's create a bot for cooking. That can help us. Instead of us, it can answer the audience's questions on social networks. We put the bot link there and the audience can click on it and enter this chatbot and ask any cooking questions they have. We need to choose a photo for it. We need to select a photo related to cooking, for example, a chef's hand. We have to choose a name for it between 4 and 20 characters. You need to choose a name between 4 to 20 characters. Of course, it has a complex name already, but uh, we need to make it even nicer. So, we will name it Mr. Head Chef. We cannot put spaces or dots in the middle. You have to write it together. Here you can write an explanation about your bot, what this bot is, what it does, and what help you can provide. I'm writing a short text here. I write, this bot is a cooking assistant. Well, here we can choose what basis the bot is on. These are the models that exist here. If you look, the last three have some limitations, but the first options have none. We set up ChatGPT 3.5. From the section below, we can set a framework for it. I set it up to only respond to questions and requests related to cooking. Here we can also have an intro message, when anyone enters the spot, an automatic message is shown to them. For example, I can write, how can I help you?
Distinctions also for specifying whether it should be public or private access. Public access means the body is visible to anyone. Here are some additional options. Suggest replies gives you suggestions when you ask a question to the chatbot and it provides you with an answer. Under the answer, it presents three suggested options regarding the topic of your question, further questions or requests. Enable this option to remain on. But this option, when you turn on this option, a bar is added here. There's a number next to it. The more you drag it to the right, the number increases. The more you drag it to the left, the number decreases. In fact, here you determine that when a common question is asked multiple times from the spot, how different the answers it gives should be. How much creativity it should have. The higher this number, the more creativity it shows and the answers have more variety. Because our work is cooking and this is a cooking bot. And they probably want to get cooking instructions from it. We reduce this so that it does not give diverse instructions. Because if the instructions are diverse, the results of my work will be different. Here you can also see a preview of the bot you created. Well, we click on the create bot button and our bot is created. However, it's not. It tells us that the handle you chose already exists. So I go and add 007 to it, James Bond number, and then I click on Create Bot. We see that our bot is created again. Well, look, our bot's been created. The same name we specified ourselves. The same description we wrote ourselves and the same message we wanted to appear at the beginning. If you click on this option, the link will be copied and you can place it anywhere you want. Through this method, you can edit your box. Now let's ask it for a recipe for chocolate cake. It will give us the recipe for chocolate cake. Now let's ask an unrelated question about the city of London and see how it responds. It would probably tell us that it is a cooking bot and cannot answer questions about London. Well, we have now learned how to use a chatbot. What help can the chatbot provide us with? And how can we create a personal bot that can answer all the audience's questions like an assistant? If you were satisfied with the course, like the video. And comment the links of the chatbots you created so that we can use them. Also, let me inform you that we have educational courses on Udemy which I recommend you to participate in. To view other free tutorials and receive discount links for other courses, subscribe and turn on the notification. Good luck!